do you ever have one of those days where you're just tired all day for like no good reason? Like you got plenty of sleep and you know, you ate right and just everything, you did everything you could to stay awake and you're just tired the entire day. Like I'm not sick or anything. It's just, I don't know. That's been, that's been my whole weekend. Maybe I just need to exercise more. I think that's probably it. But, oh, uh, okay, Killzen died. Okay, I thought that was Surfing. I thought that was Surfing that died, but it wasn't. It was Killzen. So, anyways, how's it going, guys? Hope you guys all had a wonderful weekend. I had a lot of fun. We did some some streaming and lots of fun stuff. So, here we go. We've been streaming a lot of Counter-Strike and Rocket League the past, oh, excuse me, the past few days, uh, which has been just a lot of fun. So, for those of you who didn't know, I was an MGE in Counter-Strike for a while, and then we, we stopped playing for, like, probably, I don't know, nine months or so. Um, sorry, I was typing. Uh, not nine months, like six months or so, the, the, op, the upside down nine. Um, and so all of our ranks reset, and so now we're, like, silver elite master or whatever you know so we're we're slowly rising up through the ranks but the fun part is because we used to be a higher rank now we're a lower rank but we're still playing like silvers and sometimes gold novas so um, it's it's a lot of fun it makes it makes you feel really good at that game even when you're not really like all that great at it like it's like Rocket League where like you think you're doing well at it and then you watch some of the people who actually know how to play and you realize that you're really not that great at the game. So, all right. Just circle strafe here. Oh, I want that. There we go. What level? Okay, he's level 20. He's almost one out of eight. He just needs some decks. So we were trying to find some Sprite Worlds before we recorded, but we were unable to find any. Um, so I think I think he might have gotten one dex. So, all right, let's get rid of the annoying guys first. There we go. So, all right, what else has been going on? Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot. Just like I said, live streaming and fun stuff. By the way, lava pierces armor. Yeah, I know that. I appreciate the thought, man. But I know it's a. Uh, it's not really that it pierces armor, it just ignores defense because it's it's freaking lava. It's it's not like a sword or something, you know? All right, this is not the way to go. I used to be scared of the abyss a little bit because, all right, one sec. Because of all of these different places that you had to, was that him I heard? Okay, all these like little paths that you had to walk on and I didn't want to fall in the lava and then after a while you realize it's really not all that bad. So here we go. All right, it's, this is not the way to go, which sucks for surfing because you came all the way over here. So, all right, perfect. We had uh, quite a few people joining us today, um, but some of them kind of left for a little while, so we'll, we'll probably join up with them here in a little bit. So I'm just trying to max my wisdom and vitality. Um, that's that's the thought anyways. So there we go. Perfect. All right, let's go this way first. Which is another fork, which is not what you want. You get hit from several sides like that. All right. Thankfully, these guys don't really hit for very much. I'm thinking about saving up all the def extra defense that I get and using it to buy tops for my knight. I think that sounds like a great idea. Someone's like, oh, you should trade it for, for life or whatever. I'm just going to buy tops. That's, that's what I want. That's what I want for this character. I just want the best gear that I can. And, you know, obviously there's some stuff that I can't buy, I have to find, you know. So, but for for everything that I can buy for him, maybe we'll get a, um unbound ring of health or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Because I feel like we're at the point to where, like, we're doing well with him. We don't have to worry about losing him all that much unless we do stupid stuff. And so now is the time to invest and then all the, the extra stuff, 
that we get that we won't use for him, we will use um, to buff up our... I think it was a Necromancer that we're, we're currently potting up. I can't remember. It's been a while. So... Uh, yeah, so that's that's the plan anyways. This guy has always been kind of like the the guy that I was planning on We'll grab that. That's not actually too bad. The guy I was planning on using to pot up all my other characters That's the thought at least so All right, lots of lots of waves in the YouTube world right now I don't know how many of you guys have have seen all the stuff going on right now with Copyright and uh, the Fine Brothers, which if you don't know them, they're a, a large YouTube channel, probably like, I think they said like 22nd largest YouTube channel or something like that. Um, and, oh, let's not die. There we go. Let's, let's heal up a little bit here. All right, perfect. Um, they put out a video on, I think it was Friday, saying that they are going to start something called React World. And what React World is, is it is a way to use their format and their branding and everything for your own React videos. And so, and they'll, they'll help promote you or something, which sounds great because they're, they're huge. And if you can get people with large channels to help promote you, uh, I'm talking about like they had 14, well had, we'll, we'll get into that here in a second. They had like 14 million people, right? 14 million subscribers had had being the keyword um here we go let's clear there we go um and so like yeah if you could get large youtubers to promote your stuff like you're golden you know what i mean like that's that's a good way to to expand your channel quite a bit all right let's try and drag him over here um now the kicker to that is one, they will be taking 30% of your ad revenue, which 30% of your ad revenue, it doesn't sound like much, but that's on top of YouTube taking 45 and you get left with like maybe 50%. I don't remember the exact math, but it was not a lot at all. Like, uh, it was, it was not a lot. Um, all right, I'll go over to him. Um, and so that was the big thing, was that they would take 30% of your ad revenue in order to be use their quote-unquote resources and their quote-unquote format. Now, the thing is, is that they would not define what their format is. And when they were asked, they would, they would just tell people that... Um, like watch our videos that's our format which isn't really oh he's got some liqueur and stuff look at that there we go all right one step closer which that reminds me uh da -da -da -da. We need 12 vit, seven waves. Okay, so we're, we're getting there. All right, so they said, you know, if you want to use our format, then you're going to have to pay us 30%. We'll let you use our branding and all of this mumbo jumbo -y stuff, right? Which, I mean, it sounds great. I'll be honest, like, if you're a small YouTuber, that doesn't actually sound that bad other than them taking 30%, which is just horrible, horrible. But... As far as like getting larger YouTubers to promote your stuff, if that's what they would actually be doing, um, actually doesn't sound that bad. Now, here's the, the kicker. Here's the bad thing about it. The first thing is they started trademarking words like react, right? And like teens react to and elders react to. And those are the name of their series. So those ones I can kind of see other than they're not the first ones to do that. So why should they get to trademark something that they didn't even, they didn't even start, you know? Thanks, man. Here, I have this. I don't want it. There we go. Um, like, why, why should they trademark stuff that, honestly, they don't, they don't own, they shouldn't own because it's not, 
it's not their stuff. And, and you know, let's say like Beavis and Butthead has been doing this forever, where they would watch a music video or something and make fun of it and quote unquote react to it. You know what I mean? Um, so they're not the first ones to do it, and that's that's the main thing. Now, the second second of all is this opens up. Uh, the field to abuse is is the main thing. Like, you know, once they start trademarking and everything, what is, like, how do we know they're not going to start taking down videos, right? Like, any, any React videos, you know, how do we know they're not going to take down any React video and be like, oh, you should join React World so that you can actually do this type of content. Now, they... They said that they wouldn't be doing that, but there have been lots of people saying that they've had their videos already taken down from the Fine Brothers. And so they're, they're already abusing the system, you know? So that's the second thing, right? Is that they're already abusing the system and they don't even have this already set out yet. You know, it's not all, all together or whatever, right? So... It's just opening up the field to tons and tons of abuse. Um, and that that is just awful. Plus, not to mention that... Um, not to mention that YouTubers get, get hit with false DMCA claims all the time. So, you know, that's like the worst thing for YouTubers is getting copyrighted for something, right? And these guys are, are blatantly abusing the, the copyright claims and the, the DMCA stuff, you know. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty disgusting, honestly. Let's heal up here a little bit. No, oh, I am 25. So, I'm just healing up here. So... That 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 is the big thing. And and here's the thing about that, right? They take this is this is their format, right? They take a a YouTube video. Let's say they take my, this video here, the one that you guys are watching right now, which I, I don't know why they would use this one, especially cuz we're talking about them. That would But let's just say that they they took this video, right? And what they would do is they would sit a few people down, maybe some teenagers, maybe some older people, and they'd have them watch it and they would film their reaction to the content, right? But here's the thing, is that they don't get permission from the people whose content they're taking to do their videos to, to do their videos, right? Oh, uh, he met me. Okay. They, they weren't getting permission from the people to do their videos. And they're like, oh, it's, it's fair use, right? Um, which technically you could make an, uh, you could say it is fair use maybe or whatever. Okay, this guy apparently doesn't want to clear the lights. He just wants to do this. Okay. I hate people who do that, but whatever. Okay. Here we go. I'll give him this one. That's alright. Here you go. You can have that one, man. Let's, uh, let's just keep going. Let's just leave this guy behind. Who cares? Anyways... So, so they, they take other people's content and they they make their own content on top of it. And why, what I mean, what I mean by they take their content is they play their videos in the bottom corner. So like if they did that, then who, then why, why would the other person actually watch the, the original one, you know, or maybe they would, I don't know. Maybe it's good advertising, who knows, but either way, um, I hate being confused. Either way, they take other people's content and profit off of it. So, it's it's kind of hypocritical if you think about it that they would take other people's content offline for doing the exact same thing that they do. They're like, "Oh, you can't do that." 
because that's our content. But it's like, well, you're taking other people's content, right? And there's other shady, shady stuff they've been doing. Like they tried to, you know, sue the Ellen DeGeneres show or whatever because she did something similar to what they do. Or, and honestly, if Ellen really cared about that, then they would have they would have been all the way up shit creek without a paddle, right? So, but yeah, it's just this is a whole big thing. Just all this YouTube drama and stuff, um, which is kind of fun to watch unfold. I kind of see on both sides. You know, like, I think the fine bros are wrong, first off. Um, I, I kind of like... One I kind of like what they're trying to do, but the way that they're doing it is just all wrong, right? And oh, can we please get a... Can we please get a... Please, please, please. Yes, Haunted Sam, awesome. Now, there's a lot of people who will be coming in here, but you know what, whatever. All right. Let's ready up. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of, it's kind of hypocritical, if you think about it, because they're, they're doing their, the same thing that, I think I already said this, right? They're doing, they're t trying to take down channels for doing the same thing that they do, right? So I don't know. It's this whole big thing. But they had 14 million and like 80,000 subscribers like just the other day. And now they're down to 13 million something. Like they've lost like 200,000 people so far. So it's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, it's... It's a thing, you know, it's, it's kind of, there's, there's streams up right now where the whole stream is just watching their YouTube channel sub count, like the live sub count drop. And if you watch it, it's dropping like a rock. I mean, they gotta be pissed off. And I know they're pissed off because they did this whole video of like trying to clarify and do damage control about this whole situation. But one of them looked super pissed off and was like almost shouting the entire time. It was just not, not the best, you know? There we go. I got pee bag. There we go. Uh, no, no, this is worth it. All right, let's keep going. So yeah, it's it's uh it's been a thing. There's a, a Twitter thing that's trending right now that's like hashtag unsubscribe the fine bros or unsub fine bros or there's a few different ones, but they're all pretty much the same. Um so all all they have like three channels. All of their channels right now are just getting beaten up. Um, and there's tons of people celebrating and all sorts of stuff, but I don't know. I, I never really watched a lot of their stuff. I think I've seen one or two of their videos. It wasn't really my cup of tea, but a lot of people like them, obviously, because they have 14 million subscribers. But you don't mess with the YouTube community when it, you don't mess with with copyright. You don't do this false DMCA claim takedown bullshit, Okay. Because that is the the first way to get your channel wrecked, right? And it's like it's like the Streisand effect. Do you know what the Streisand effect is? It's where like something bad happens and you you put out damage control to try and make it better, and the damage control that you put out makes it worse because what it does is it it brings the issue to light and like puts media attention on it, right? and just makes it worse. That is what's going on right now, right? And it's it's kind of funny to watch. There's a lot of people pissed off. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, if uh, tomorrow's Jimquisition would be on the Fine Brothers. I I kind of want to say I almost guarantee it, but he he's been known to not kind of go the the beaten path a lot of times. He's like, "Oh, a lot of people have talked about this and I don't need to," which I can totally understand. Um uh, but I think it's something that you know, like for, for people who maybe don't know a lot about YouTubing and behind the scenes and stuff, it might be kind of uh, kind of fun to watch and stuff, I guess, right? So, there we go. Oh, I needed that. That's actually my, I'm pretty sure that's my, um, what's that called? My daily quest. So, we'll, we'll go and we'll put that in here in a second. All right. 
so I don't know. It's it's a thing, you know. All right. T3. I don't know. I don't know. Let's ready up. Why not? All right. That guy said ready, but there's a few extra numbers in there. He must type like me, which is not very good. Not very good at all. Don't follow surfing around. That's not very nice. You lay off, okay? You lay off. I see Swags is in here. I didn't notice that. Swags is in here as well. Awesome. All right. I don't know. It's it's a thing, you know? And honestly, to, to try and trademark and, like, say an entire style of YouTube videos is yours is kind of bullshit. It is. I know I don't curse a lot in my videos, but honestly, this this kind of warrants it. That is just straight up bullshit because you didn't invent it. There's plenty of other people who do it. And, you know, it's it's not yours. It's just not. It's like when King, you know, the Candy Crush developers tried to trademark the word candy, right? They tried to copyright the word candy. And then they, they like, sent cease and desist letters to, like, small indie devs who were making candy-related video games, like, that were not even remotely you know, related to Candy Crush, right? And they tried to do that with the, the word saga as well, um, which there, there's certain words that have just been out there for so long that you shouldn't be able to copyright them. And thankfully they weren't, you know. Sony, Sony the other day tried to copyright or trademark the words Let's Play. And we don't know why. My guess is probably because they were going to make a movie, right? A Let's Play movie or something. That would be my guess, but I don't know. Yeah, there's, this kind of stuff happens a lot. So. No. There's a lot of people, high hitting people here as well. Apparently. All right. Nope. Yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a problem. And you know what? A big part of the problem is that YouTube has its own, like, um automated process and the automated process is what allows a lot of them to do this right right i can't imagine what it would be like if all of the people that um the fine brothers took their videos for over the past x amount of years to do all of their videos all at once all filed dmca takedown notices you know their, their channel would just be gone it would just be gone you know so I, I can't imagine why these guys are trying to go this route because the whole thing could, and it is going upside down on top of them, but the whole thing could flip and, and hurt them. You know, I don't know. They, they don't look very happy. Their channel is plummeting right now. Now, do I think that it'll go away? I don't think it'll go away. I think it'll, they'll lose like, I don't know, a few hundred thousand. They probably won't lose a million, but they'll, they'll lose a few, you know? Um, enough to maybe get them to stop their shenanigans. And that's all that we can really hope for anyways, right? And, I don't know, that's that's what I'm hoping for, you know? Whatever, they're, they're being kind of D-bags right now. But, and you know, they're like, oh, we want to do this for the community, right? And I can kind of see that. Like, if their intentions were good and they were doing this to try and get, um, you know, smaller YouTubers to get bigger and stuff. Ooh, I popped that early. I popped it early again. There we go. So, I don't know. I, you know, if that was their intention, then maybe it would be good. But honestly, I don't see that as their ten intention. I, I, I think that they just want a quick buck trying to to strong arm smaller channels who don't have the legal resources that they do into giving them 30% of their commissions or DMCA claiming their channel into oblivion until it's not there to to get them out of oh that's not the same i thought it was it's not it's a mithril oh well all right well we'll look for that one then i don't know it's it's a thing it's an ugly thing that's going on it's kind of fun to watch a little bit kind of though you know what i mean i'm going back to jin 
I don't know. My channel is almost at 1900, which is amazing, by the way. Thank you guys very much. I really do appreciate all of you guys who either you're new and you just subscribed and you're helping me out or you've been around for a while and, and you know, uh, you've been commenting or just watching and all that kind of stuff. I really do appreciate it. We're getting so close to that 2K. I'm really hoping that we can get it here in the next few months. I've got some stuff uh, coming up that I would really like to be able to say that I have 2K for, um, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, I'll, I'm hopefully going to get off my lazy butt and do a channel update soon because there's some things that I need to to talk about some really fun and exciting stuff coming up that you know that would be a lot of fun so but oh maybe we can get some more potions maybe thank you all right oh, i got confused ord all right let's get this red demon that's what i want the lag was oryx oh gotcha Come on, Red Demon. Okay. This, oh, I hate being confused. Oh, now we're confused and weak. That's not good. Okay. Weak's gone. Perfect. Uh, looks like Red Demon is gone, which is unfortunate. He was kind of not in a good area. I just want the I just want the potions I couldn't care less about. The, the rest. And notice I said I couldn't care less. Yes, I know it's not I could care less because that is a stupid, stupid mistake. I could care less means that you do care a little bit, right? So. Ah, here we could do a sprite. Maybe. Maybe Surfin will come over here. Surfin. I don't want to message him. I don't want to die. There we go. Okay, let's do the sprite. <sighs> I don't know. It's uh, it's it was kind of fun. I did watch their their counter go down. I'll I'll admit it. I did take some enjoyment out of it at least, um, because honestly, just because. Um, I've seen the videos from the other people who've been having their videos taken down and their channels put into risk because these guys were were pulling shenanigans, right? Um, and that's that's mainly the reason why I'm like, you know what? Maybe they need to take a hit, right? Wow. Three of those. I can't get in the dungeon if it's not safe. All right. That's okay, man. That's all right. As soon as he pops up, he'll be dead. Pink. All right, cool. There we go. All right, cool. Let's uh, let's do this. No, nope, none there. Oh, here's that blue, blue guy again. Let's not. If he's gonna go in. All right, let's do it. I just didn't want to go in with that guy. All right, this will probably be the last one. It'll be uh. Ah, yes. Um, it'll probably be my last one because we're getting close to that 30-minute mark. Actually, we're, we're, we're going to go a little bit longer. I know you guys don't mind. I know you guys like the longer videos. So I'm also going to be trying, trying my hardest to do nillies at least twice a, a week because that is the feedback that I've been getting from you guys. 
the we want to see more Nilly's realm. So I hear you guys. Don't worry. And keep up the feedback. If there's stuff you want to see, if there's stuff that you don't really care to see, you know, let me know. You know, if it's if it's one of the ones I'm having fun with, I probably won't take it down, but maybe I won't post as much on it, you know. So, um, and then, of course, I was, I was talking about live swinging earlier. Let's just wrap that up here. I'm trying to do, and we'll see if I, I'm able to pull this off with recording and editing, but I'm trying to do Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, and that'll be like 7-ish Mountain Standard Time. I don't know what that is in other time zones. I, I apologize, but um, so that's what I'm trying to do. We've been playing Counter-Strike. We've been playing Call of Duty. We've been playing Rocket League. I'll be playing Realm as well. Um, I know usually I stream with Gamer Dad. Uh, excuse me, I have the the burpees. Usually I stream with Gamer Dad. He will not be around um, for beginnings of the week for very much because his new job has him flying all over the country and stuff. So beginnings of the week, if it's just me and like Agent Core or someone isn't on, then I'll probably be doing some Realm and stuff as well. Um, and maybe, maybe weekends as well. I, I do weekend streams whenever, you know, whenever I can. There's no guarantee that I'm able to, but, you know, whenever I can, we will. I think that's the one I need right there. Uh, no, that's still the T8. Screw that, don't need it. Okay. What's surfing using? Oh, he's got some better stuff. Okay. Uh, let's go... Yeah, you can go this way. That's fine. All right. You can definitely tell um, some of these these dungeons definitely take longer than others to do. You know what I mean? This is this is a, a dead end. So let's head back. What are you talking about? I don't know. You, I don't know what you're trying to say, man. I just took all of those bolts to the face. Go up. All right, I'm going up. I'm going up. I want the world to know. Yeah, and plus some other fun stuff that'll be coming along, along as well. They'll be coming around the mountain. Yeah, that's, that's a Colorado joke right there. All right. So... Uh, what else? What else? Have not been playing as much Slime Rancher lately. I'll be pulling that series out of the, the graveyard once they start updating with more content. But I feel like we've seen a lot of it so far. Um, there's not a lot we kind of haven't done yet. Oh, I'm pulling back for a second. Surfing, don't die, man. So, all right. So, because I do like that game. It's a lot of fun. So... It's just there's not a lot of of content yet, you know, and and it's in development, so it makes sense that they don't have the entire game up right now. Although that being said, um, there are some games that are in early access and stuff that basically are complete and they're just polishing and stuff. I saw Android Cactus was one of them. They were adding levels and that kind of stuff, but for the most part, the game itself was playable and complete so there we go there they are that's those are the those are the buggers there we go all right this way let's go right let's go this way there we go all right what else not a whole lot honestly not a whole lot going on in my world right now Mostly just work, kid stuff. I want that. Thank you. You know, fun stuff though. Um, some sports type stuff and, you know, smaller stuff. My wife still wants me to join a uh, indoor soccer league again. I used to play when I was in college indoor soccer just as some, a way to kind of relax and get some get some uh, physical activity as you would. So, of course, I was a goalie. So that that's, I was a goalkeeper. That's that's the kind of player I was. Actually, I started out as 
as front, and then I went midfield, and then I was defense, and then I end up in goalie. So I just kind of slowly progressed my way down the field, I guess. But I know it's a lot of fun. I enjoy it, you know. I thought about that, like, if I were to start playing again, would you guys be interested in seeing, like, video snippets? Like, I wouldn't put out the whole game, but just, like, mini, you know, video snippets. Like, if my wife was was um, on the sidelines filming and there was, like, a really awesome save or something, would that be something you guys would be interested in? Or, or maybe not, I don't know, you know? Like, vlog type of material, I don't know. I've, I've been really wanting to get into vlogging, um, but it's been a little bit hard for me to because um, it, it's, it's, it's more difficult than gameplay because gameplay, I just load this up. I talk into a mic. You don't have to see me or anything. And Um, and then I just edit it together, you know? There we go. Oh, I thought he was coming. Oh, well. All right, he TP'd to me. That's fine. So, but like vlogs and stuff, there's a lot more. There's like lighting and, oh, I didn't see him. I was like standing on top of him. Oh, I got a white. Oh my God. Oh my god. Demon Blade for the win. Alright, for first first thing of business here. We gotta get a a nice picture here of us by the white. Right? I said today is the day he will get a white. GG. Um Let's see, do I want either of those? Not really. We'll grab it and we'll drop it. All right. There we go. All right, guys. We are going to end it there. And what a good way to end the video. Uh, might be a tea room. I don't want to risk it. I don't want to risk it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, let me know, should I carry this with me or should I stash it for now? Like, should I just use my T11 or should I use this? I know that you get two of them and it does more damage and stuff, but I don't know. Let me know. Let me know which one I should, I should use. But anyways, thank you guys very much for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode.